In this tutorial, you see how to achieve the lock on target seen in Sekiro and many other games. Today, we are building the technical side of the system, and in the next video, we'll cover the graphics. I'm Mark, and this is Game Dev Journey. Let's start. Okay, so now we want to create our input. Okay, so go in input, input action, and I want to create our AI underscore lock on. Yes, open it. And uh, yes, now we have our input action, modifier, pressed. Okay, save. And of course, if you want, you can change it. So now go into default and simply go in mappings and select our lock on. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay. So, of course, you can choose, I choose tab, but you can choose uh, uh, what key you want. And now we want to create our blueprints folder. That is basically our folder for our enemy blueprint. Okay. So, basically, we want to create an enemy, a character. Okay. And, of course, I will call it bp underscore enemy one. Okay. Save. Now. We are in, we are in BP enemy one. And the first thing to do is basically to set our mesh to our mannequin. Okay. So select many simple and now rotate it by 90, 90 degrees. Yes. And move it. Mm, oh, yes. Mm, oh, okay. Maybe yes. Mm, like this. Okay. Like this. Perfect. Compile. Now we want also to add a scene and of course a scene component. I will call it maybe target. Yes. And this is important in reality for our next episode. Okay. So compile and save. Now we can simply set on the settings our tag because we wanted to choose enemy for our tag. And this is very important because otherwise it creates some problem when you want to uh, find okay the enemy the enemies in the level so now go in third person because i have of course third person template and select the person character now we are in and we want to create our variables the first one is basically is locked on is a boolean the second one is locked target Okay, and the third one is basically lock on range. Okay, and the third, okay, is closest target. Okay, but the second is an actor, an actor object reference. The third one is irritate a float, it's the max distance. Okay, and yes, it's not, yes, it's the distance. Okay, and it's a float. Sorry for the mistake. Combine save now we want to simply get our closest enemy, okay, and simply get all actors with tag. This tag is our enemy, and now with this I want to create a loop for each loop, okay, and I want to use our array. Basically, we get our array element, okay, and simply get actor location. Yes. And now we want also to get our actor location, but now for our third person character, okay, we want to do a subtract to simply like get the, the result of uh, that vector, okay. The length is very important, otherwise you don't have a float. And of course this float must be less or equal to our maximum distance, okay? But not also this, we want also to basically uh, control if it's less or equal to our closest target distance. This is important because we want only the closest enemy in the level. Okay, so now we can get our branch because we want to control that condition and of course also add a and, and uh, condition. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay, so basically when it's true, we want to set our locket target to our okay array element. So get to 
that yes like this okay and now we want to simply oh yes yes okay simply get our closest target distance that is basically okay our length of that vector yes perfect like this i maybe adjust a little bit okay perfect like this compile save always important and now if you go to event graph we want to get our ai actions or lock on when it's trigger we want to control if is if it is basically uh is lock on active or not if it's true or not because basically it's a boolean so if it's false we want to call our get closest enemy okay and after this we want to set our locked on to true of course because we want to enter in our locked on but before doing this we want to control if is valid our locked target okay so of course select this is valid it's important not other is valid okay and if is valid okay basically we get our lock on mode so basically if it's true okay we will set to false want to set our locket target to simply nothing because we want the default value okay and also here i want to call event tick because uh, we need it and we must control with a branch if is lock on because if it's lock on basically we want to create a custom event we want to call it so add custom event and this custom event is rotate camera okay and simply call it rotate camera after the branch okay only if is locked is on is true okay so now get it and uh, get the local target they want to get actor location not only actor location of the local target but of course our actor location of basically um, our player okay so i will duplicate it and use a node particular node the reality that is look find relative find look at rotation not relative sorry and this is important because otherwise you don't have the correct rotation okay so we use that okay to set control rotation you, you must don't check the context sensitive and of course the rotation is our look find the look at rotation but the target is our get controller okay something like this target itself is not a problem so compile and save okay want to get our controller and set ignore lock input okay also for that so basically i want to select the true if uh, is lock on is basically false okay and yes of course the target is get control basically we ignore the the fact that the mouse can move the camera okay okay and also select use controller for rotation yo in third person character okay it's important so now okay we have done basically everything in reality but okay you must put them in the world and okay we can test it okay if i press mm, okay nothing happened okay wait this okay uh, the problem is uh, you must select the lock on range okay so i want to choose 1050 yeah sorry <laughs> 500 and uh, okay here also we must uh, select our closest ta target distance and we want to simply like set it 
to our local range. Okay, why this? Because otherwise, maybe you have in the previous time an enemy more closer, more closer than now. Okay, and you cannot see basically the enemy because the condition is uh, is not valid. Okay, so now test it. We must test it, and okay, press tab. Yes. Okay, it works, but okay, the camera is basically. <laughs> not so so up we must maybe move it okay if you like this can go well of course you can choose always whatever you want and now we have this fantastic system because yeah you pray you press tab and everything worked okay so basically you can simply check the enemy so guys thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe and really thank you for everything thank you for watching i really appreciate it if you want to comment maybe you have a problem you have uh, something to say i will help you so thank you guys and bye bye